nourishment in God's purpose. John chapter 4 verse 34 My food, said Jesus, is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Imagine the scene. The disciples had gone to get food and they were probably surprised to see Jesus talking with a Samaritan woman at the well. They were concerned about his hunger, but Jesus used this moment to teach them something profound about what truly satisfies. Jesus wasn't saying physical food isn't important, but he wanted them to see a bigger picture. He wanted them to understand that his fulfillment, his strength, and his joy came from something far beyond physical nourishment. His food was doing the will of God and completing his mission. Jesus found life's real meaning in following God's plan, and he was so energized by it that even hunger took a back seat. This reminds us that Jesus' life wasn't just about himself or his own needs. His heart was deeply connected to his mission, to share the message of hope, to heal, to show God's love, and ultimately to give his life for us. This work gave him purpose and a sense of fulfillment that no earthly thing could satisfy. So what can we learn from Jesus here? First, think about what feeds your life, what makes you feel satisfied, fulfilled, and at peace. Is it the things of this world, like success, approval, or material comfort, or is it something deeper? Jesus shows us that while everyday needs are real, there is something even greater that can truly satisfy, living for God's purpose. This doesn't mean we should ignore our responsibilities or personal goals, but imagine how different life feels when, instead of just getting by, we have a higher purpose driving us each day. When we put God's will first, when we seek to show His love, help others, and live out our faith, we begin to experience a deeper joy and peace. You might be asking, how can I live out God's purpose daily? It starts with the small steps. Pray for guidance. Look for opportunities to help someone. Share a kind word. Spend time growing in faith. Maybe you're called to do something big for God in the future, but you can begin now by being faithful in the little things. Every time you follow God's direction in your life, you are tasting that food Jesus talked about, finding fulfillment in His purpose. Let us pray. Lord, help us to find true satisfaction in doing your will. Give us hearts that are eager to follow you and let our lives reflect your love and purpose. May we be energized and fulfilled by the work you have called us to do. In Jesus' name, Amen.